Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the fourth element five mil Kevlar reinforced hydrolock gloves. So these are five mil gloves, so they're that good all rounder. They're gonna protect your hands from the cold, but also because they have that Kevlar reinforced weave, it's gonna protect the gloves and your hands from cuts and scrapes. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so this is how they arrive. Um, very minimal packaging, which is nice. Uh, as far as packaging goes, you get this little uh, sort of piece of cardboard, uh, five mil Kevlar gloves, ultra hard wearing, uh, hydro lock wrist seal, the size, uh, and then barcode on the back, and then just some information about the gloves themselves. Uh, yeah, let's take a closer look at the gloves themselves. Okay, so here are the gloves. Uh, one I've turned inside out, so you can see the inside of it. Um, but starting with the outside. So the outside, the palm itself, you've got some very subtle detailing with the uh, the fourth element logo on the back of the hand. Um, over the fingertips, you'll see this Kevlar reinforced fiber goes over the back of the fingertip, over your fingernails as well. Uh, it also goes all the way around your, um, uh, your fingers and your thumbs. So you have this full protection. So whenever you're sort of holding onto something, um, even if it is sharp or it does have a sharp edge on it, it's, uh, it's gonna take a lot more effort to, uh, to cut through this. And then all across the palm itself, again, you've got this uh, this reinforced fibers. Between the fingers, uh, along down your, your little finger, around the cuff, you just have a more traditional neoprene, five mil neoprene, so plenty of uh, sort of flex, but also warmth as well. And then around the, uh, the very edge of the cuff, you have this glide skin material. So this is sealing it against your skin, or if you're wearing this over a dry suit, it'll seal against your dry suit cuff, um, as long as it's latex or, or silicone and that's being a very effective uh, seal to stop water from getting into the gloves. Then when we turn to the inside of the gloves, so this is that hydro lock seal again, but from the inside, as you can see, it's this shiny material and that seals very effectively against flat, um, uh, flat surfaces. Over the back of the hand, the thumb and the uh, the palm, you have a slightly um, sort of piled uh, material. So this is more effective at uh, trapping water and uh, just sort of keeping it close to your hands. So your hands can naturally warm it up. All around the, uh, the wrist one, you've got a little size indicator so that if you have multiples, uh, you can tell which is which. Uh, you've got a little label as well, just on uh, sort of how to um, not even how to care for it, um, just what it uh, is comprised of. And you also have a small little tag as well, so you can uh, sort of clip them together. Moving up towards the uh, the fingers, you have this uh, this stitching that uh, sort of continues. Sometimes some manufacturers glue this, which can make it quite scratchy, but this is actually quite soft. Um, I can't feel any glue uh, sort of around there, so very comfortable. Um, and the palm itself, does feel a little bit thinner as well. So that's probably slightly thinner neoprene just so you can get some better dexterity. So putting the gloves on now, I'm usually a size large as far as gloves go. So I order a size large. These are a little bit snug. They, they do, they're perfectly fine. Um, but if it was me, I'd probably go up one size just so it's a bit more comfortable. Um, but once they're on, the uh, the inside stitching isn't scratchy at all. That's, uh, that's quite comfortable. One thing that I did notice is that when I was putting them on, there's this kind of seam over the, uh, the tops of the fingers. They kind of caught on my fingernails. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but it's something uh, whilst you're putting the gloves on. Um, but then, yeah, once they're on, you do have a decent amount of flex. Um, they're fairly ergonomic when they're in this kind of standby mode. Um, but yeah, you still have a decent amount of dexterity. They're not fantastic. They're the five mil gloves. You, you can feel what you're doing, but still you do have a sort of five mil of neoprene. Um, you've got that hydrolock seal around your wrist, uh, which is pretty good. And um, yeah, otherwise, yeah, they, they are comfortable. They're not uh, sort of scratchy uh, sort of anywhere. And, uh, and yeah, you can still do things when you're in the water. Uh, yeah. And that's the fourth element Kevlar Hydro Lock gloves. A nice five mil gloves. So they're gonna keep your hands nice and warm, but they do have that Kevlar reinforcing over the palms and the fingers, just to protect your hands and the general wear and tear for your gloves. So if you're dealing with things in and around the water and you need something a bit more robust, these are definitely worth considering. There's gonna be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com, where you can buy them from as well. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. Mm -hmm.